Hello, good morning viewers. Common difference is very much essential when it comes to arithmetic progression sequence because it is what determines every successive term in a sequence. So in this tutorial, we are only going to find the common difference among these sequences. Let's begin with the first one. Common difference can be obtained by subtracting a term from the preceding term. All right, so let us take a term at random here. So common difference, which is donated by D, is equal to, let us take a term at random. Let's assume we want to use this one. That is the upper bound. We have five minus the previous one, which is four. And this is equal to one. Therefore, the common difference in this sequence is said to be one. Now let us move on to the second one. The common difference can be obtained by taking any term at random. Let me take this one, which is 6, minus the previous one, which is 4, and this is equal to 2. Therefore, the common difference in this sequence is said to be 2. Moving on to the third one, the common difference can be obtained. Uh, let us use this 3. We have 3 as our upper bound, minus 1, and this is equal to 2. And this is true for all terms. Coming here, we have common difference equal to, let us take a term at random. Let's use zero. Zero minus the previous one, which is one. This is equal to negative one. This is true for all of the terms. Let us take another one at random. Let's take, for instance, two here. Two minus three is also equal to negative one. So it works for all terms. And the last one, to find a common difference, let us take, for instance, negative 4. Then we subtract negative 2. Remember, negative, negative is positive. So this is the same thing as negative 4 plus 2. And negative 4 plus 2 is the same thing as negative 2. Therefore, the common difference in this sequence is said to be negative 2. This is exactly how to find common difference in a sequence. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.